Hey you guys, it's Daniel Newman. Most of y'all know me from Walking Dead, Vampire Diaries, or Homeland. So this is your tips and tricks this week of the best of the best stuff that's come to my attention. Um, <clears throat> so this week we're going to focus on a lot of you guys are online sellers. You're doing your shops on Shopify, Facebook, Instagram, Amazon. So I found something that is making everybody a fortune. Um, it's a new technology that you just apply to, um, and it's so, so cheap. Um, you just apply to your Facebook store, this comment sold, and um, it's making everybody's Facebooks explode with customers. So what it is, is you just sign up for it. Uh, it's really quick and easy. Um, there's a link in my description or in the post. And um, basically, it posts your item, whatever you're trying to sell on Facebook or Instagram or Shopify. Um, <clears throat> and the customers, there's a couple things. It's kind of like Vegas uh, Gold Rush because the customer replies sold and the color or the size, if it's a shirt or whatever. But what this does is, is it actually has like a two-hour window where the customer has to buy it right away, so it puts a pressure on it. It becomes almost like a bid where all of the members of these groups with like 50,000, 100,000 are all trying to get it at once. So everybody in the group is in a frenzy to get it. And then also it's posting whenever it's sold on each person's page. So it goes viral. Um, all of a sudden, everyone in the group or tons of people that are online are all seeing what their friends are buying and all of a sudden it's getting posted on their feed. So all of your products get instant massive hype and exposure and um, I love it. I think it's so cool. So you have all these factors and then also Comment Sold does all the work for you. It does the invoicing, uh, it does the listing, the posting, the time, um, it replies to all of your buyers automatically, uh, it sets up all the shipping for you. So you just put the product into Common Sold and all of a sudden everything is done. You don't have your, your hours and hours a night of doing your invoicing anymore um, or anything. So yeah, again, uh, quick and simple, go to the link. There's a special deal. Um, I got a hold of the creators of it to offer all of my fans um, a special discount. So it's free to try for a month. You can give it a shot through my link on the post. And then all of you that want more details, I'm going to run their little tutorial here so that you can actually see all the details um, in a quick synopsis. Hello guys and welcome to Comment Sold. So for today's video, I'm going to be walking you guys through, you know, what is Comment Sold? What does this look like in action? How does it work? And then also I'm going to give you guys a peek into the back end as well. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into Facebook. And I am in our Jules and James Boutique group here. And then I've already also got the post pulled up that I plan on using as well. Now looking at our post, we do have some information. We've got our sizes and colors that this particular piece is available in, our price as well. We've got our very brief, you know, how to order, comment, sold, size, color. Sold, that's going to be your keyword. Size and color as applicable, of course. Now we've got our link included in here as well. This link is going to be accessed by every customer, whether they are new and need to register or they are a returning customer and just need to view and check out their invoice. Now let's go ahead and scroll down into the comment section. I've already placed two comments on this particular post. Now my first one, my sold gray small, this one was added to my cart. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about how I was notified about that. So you will be notified in up to three ways. Default is always going to be your email. You will receive an email notification regarding your comment. This was letting me know that it was added to my cart and where I need to go to check it out. The second way I was notified was through Facebook Messenger. So we can see that here. Congratulations, you snagged one. Click below to check out. So now I can click this pay order or I can click in the post and go to the link. No matter where I click, it's going to take me to the same spot. Now the third place I could have been notified, you don't necessarily see it on this particular group, is through auto reply. So what would have happened is Jules and James would have had an automated reply to my comment with that same information. Congratulations, you snagged one. Go ahead and click the link in the post to check out. Now what happens when we click this link, we'll click pay order this time around. That's going to go ahead and log.
log us into our account page. So here you can see that product was added to my cart. I see my total here for $21.40. And then if I have a coupon, I can go ahead and enter that code here and apply it. And if not, I can go ahead and check out with either credit or debit card or check out with PayPal. Now let's go back to my second comment that was sold black small. Now this particular comment was waitlisted, uh, meaning they did not currently have one in stock for me to purchase. So what's going to happen is I was notified again through email, again through Facebook Messenger. Um, also could have been notified through auto reply, but like I said, you won't see that in place here. So you can see my waitlist notification. So what would happen is either if somebody didn't pay for their black small, or if this particular shop were to restock this piece, I would then receive a notification. So again, same thing. If I go back into my account page, this time we're going to go ahead and click the link. And if I scroll down into my waitlist tab, I can see that item on my waitlist, along with a couple of other pieces as well. So if you guys are really wanting to know what this looks like on the back end, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. So you do have a shopping cart tab here. So your shopping cart tab is going to show you anything that is currently sitting in customer's carts. It hasn't been checked out, it hasn't expired, it's just kind of hanging around in carts. You can access that information here. Now we also have a waitlist tab as well. Your waitlist is going to give you, you know, all of the information in regards to your waitlisted products. You can break it down per product, per variant, or you can group it by customer waitlist. And this way you can see how many you have on a waitlist for each particular product. You can easily decide, you know, if you want to reorder it, when you do reorder it and plug in that new stock, it's going to go ahead and invoice all of these customers on the waitlist. So now let's go ahead and jump into adding a product here really quickly. So I'm going to jump into my products page and we're going to select add product in the top right hand corner. Now our SKUs run in chronological order. You can see it is suggesting to me my next available SKU. We're going to go ahead and plug in our product name. We're just going to breeze through this really quickly. Our colors. Cost, retail price. And then we do want to charge taxes. We do have this product in stock. And just a brief description. Plug that guy back in. And we're going to go ahead and add product. So from here, we're going to go ahead and just upload an image really quickly. And if you guys really want to see this broken down and kind of slowed down more, you can always view our adding products guide and continue to inventory. So now you can see here, it does break it down for you per color and per size variant. We're going to just plug in our stock. So when you plug in this stock, this is going to be the amount that you are allowed to sell. Once I sell these two pieces of each variant, any other third, fourth, and so on comment or customer is going to be placed on a wait list. Now we're also going to plug in our weight. Your weight is going to be used for shipping purposes. Then you can see our cost and retail price is already plugged in. And then if you guys want to use utilize the location feature, I would definitely go ahead and take advantage of that. So once we update options and jump back into our products tab, you can see our SKU, let's back out of that, our SKU 1557 created here. So let's go ahead and post this guy to Facebook. So our group is auto-filled here at the top. You can see all of that text that we generate for you guys. All we need to do is copy and paste our link into our post message box. And then scrolling down, we've got our photo associated with it. And then we can either post it immediately or we can schedule it later for up to 30 days. Now, once we go ahead and schedule a date and time for this particular piece to post, it's going to go ahead and post to our group. And from that moment, customers can begin commenting, just as they do here, and start receiving their invoices. So that is for you guys, just kind of a quick look at comments sold in action, also what it looks like on the back end. And then, of course, you guys, please chat me if you have any other questions. Thanks for checking out Comments Sold. So yeah, I hope you guys like that. And um, so you can go to the link in my uh, post and it'll get you your first month completely free. You can try it out, see what you think. 
And um, yeah, stay tuned to next week's up and coming uh, best of the best week and see what other companies we're featuring and small business owners and technology. And uh, uh, love you guys. Thank you for all your messages. Send me messages and um, let me know how this works for you. Hopefully, um, just like all my friends have used it, their businesses have just exploded with business. It's something kind of magical about that everyone trying to fight it out for your products all at once and it all going viral and um, not having to do any of your invoicing or work at all. So I think that's pretty awesome. And uh, that's it for this week. I will talk to you guys next week.